What up, Fish Tank people? Shane on a Thursday. Um, so, Serena hit me up in chat saying, hey, I have no idea what you're talking about half the time when you're IDing your cichlids or, or what the difference is between Mbunas, Haps, and Peacocks. And uh, so I'm going to do a beginner's guide very, very quickly just to give you non-cichlid people a general idea of what I'm doing here. You always hear me say Peacocks and Haps, so I'm going to start there. Um, Peacocks and haps generally are on the same tank in the same region of a lake. They're more free swimmers. They need a lot of open swimming room, but they do like some kind of rock work. And in most cichlid tanks, you want to have rock work just to make sure they have somewhere to hide in case one's chasing another. In this tank, it's mostly haps at this point. Um, it'll change a little bit here over the next month or so. But a lot of these are haps. And what haps are, it's short for haplochromis, are free swimming carnivores that eat a lot of plankton. All of these that you see, these bigger guys, Hap, uh, Insignus, Hap Borlei, uh, this Venustus and Dewey mix, which is both Haps. Uh, deep, um, the Ali is a Hap. Uh, the Deep Water, this is also a Hap. And uh, like I said, those are more free swimming carnivorous type cichlids um, that still get pretty gorgeous. The males of, of all species get really gorgeous. So the peacocks, on the other hand, um, are more like this and this. Um, and they generally have a little bit prettier finage. Uh, some of them like the Jakes, um, the Red Jakes that I had, he, he passed away a while back, but the Red Jakes and the um, Benga Sunshines can have those long flowing fins. The OB is one of the exceptions. This is an OB peacock here. It's a mix between a peacock species and then an OB Mbuna. So it actually has a little bit shorter snout your nose. It'll eat algae, it'll eat a lot of vegetable content, and as will a lot of the peacocks too. So they're more in the middle. Haps are more carnivorous, plankton, etc., cetera, uh, crustaceans. Uh, peacocks are towards the middle, a little bit more veg vegetable content if they can get it, um, but will still eat those, uh, some of the haps, predatory haps, like the Venustis and the living stony are actually, ambush predators, the living stony will lay on the bottom of the floor and he will act like he's dead until small fry of cichlids will come up and check on him and he'll jump out and eat him. So haps, carnivorous, they generally get a little bit bigger. Some of those ambush predators I was talking about can get up, up to a foot, um, especially in aquariums because of the diet they get. The peacocks usually get five to six inches, um, as do a lot of the other haps. And then the ambuna, which I'll talk to you in a second when I get back to the computer, generally stay a little smaller. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so we talked about peacocks. Uh, we talked about haps, fairly similar in the two, uh, just different bloodlines and uh, fairly close to the same for, for, for sake of discussion. Uh, there are some differences and there's different uh, genuses of um, haps too. Like there's uh, the protomelis, which is something like the Taiwan reef we were talking about. And then there's um, Nimbochromus, which is those predatory haps we were talking about. So there are different kind of haps and different kind of peacocks, but we're just doing general here. So this happens to be Embuna, the third type. And these are smaller rock-dwelling cichlids. They usually don't get bigger than four inches. Um, some of them can, but most stay. There's even dwarf kinds. If you watch Bali's videos, he has a dwarf species called Demasonis. And uh, this happens to be an, an ACI. Uh, yellowtail ACI and they get uh, one of the more peaceful but you can tell the difference in shape already they're more oval oval shaped rather than the longer um, shape of some of the haps which I'll fast forward here in a second um, and we can see the old German red I used to have this happens to be the German red how he's more um, non ovular almost almost square towards the back of him um, but yeah, he's definitely much, much bigger. He, he's at six or seven inches. The Mbunas are much, much smaller. And the diet and the surroundings are totally different. Mbuna cichlids um, mainly diet off of, uh, and I'm going to roll this video while I talk, mainly diet um, algae, um, vegetarian matter, and small, small crustaceans, but 70% of their diet's um, greens. Whereas, as I said, peacocks and haps, it's opposite. 70% of their diet's probably uh, more meaty protein, like 
plankton and, and uh, small crustaceans, etc. So, uh, haps, peacocks, bigger, uh, less aggressive, but much bigger. Uh, Ambuna is smaller, but much more aggressive. In the wild, they're kept in huge concentrations of their own species. So around a rock size like this, there might be 20 different uh, ACI cichlids. And the males will fight constantly for territory and for females. That's why generally on an Ambuna cichlid tank, you're going to overstock them to the max. Um, so that they can spread all that aggression between themselves. Whereas in a peacock tank, Technically, you could probably put some of the more peaceful peacocks in a community tank if you wanted to. But um, it's still good because they are still aggressive fish, but not nearly as bad as Ambunas. So, Haps, the biggest of the bunch, mostly. Uh, not very aggressive, but there are some predatory ones that can be. Uh, peacocks, fairly docile for the most part, unless they're hybrids. Um, and uh, in the middle as far as diet goes. Embuna is smaller, more over little shape, and you can see their mouths, as I rewind this just a second here, you can see their mouths are much more uh, rounded and small and not made for grabbing prey, more made for scraping algae, um, as you can see him doing right here. Um, so they are much more aggressive, but um, also much smaller. So uh, just if we're talking about cichlids, uh, at least you guys will know a little bit about them. And if you want more in detail, I did Species Sunday, a guest edition with Dustin uh, or, or for Dustin on peacocks. And I also did a, how, uh, a species info on Muna cichlid for a, a while back. So uh, check those out on my videos. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope this helped a little bit. Later.